just a moment. I will be there. Wait, wait. Ah. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I thought you were Mortimer, but I see you're not. What is this? Uh, yes, yes, you have come to the right place. I am Ariston. I know my sign placard fell. It was a month ago or so. I keep forgetting to repair it. There is a gang of ruffians, young street rats they are, who love to knock down store signs. Such disrespect. If I ever catch the little Calix, they will be sorry. So, have you come looking for something special? A jar of eyeballs? No. How about a pet lizard with two heads? <laughs> no, eh? Here, here. See this, see this. It is a conch shell from the island of Florcita. If you hold your ear close, you can hear whispering. It is said if you hear your own name whispered, your doom shall come that very day. <laughs> Give it a listen. What? You hear nothing. Let me have a try. Hmm. Silent. Well, perhaps it is better for us. I see you're noticing my hook hand. Was I a pirate before owning the shop? <laughs> no, my good patrons. Being a pirate is not a requirement to use a hook. Come, let me show you. Let me show you something. It is certain to enthrall you. It. Oh, there are so many. I really should be better organized. Ah, ah, yes, here we are. Here we are. This is called Penelope's box. Mm -hmm. oh, there's the one. Now, the box is open, and I reach my hand inside. Farther and farther I can reach. You see, my hand does not come through the bottom. Farther still, to my elbow I go. Even farther. <laughs> its box is deeper than meets the eye. What is in Penelope's box? I am sure you're wondering. Why, Penelope. <laughs> Ooh, there she is. I can feel her now. Ooh, I can really feel her. I think she has missed me. Poor, lonely Penelope. <laughs> Here, you try, try, reach inside. Go on. Ah, you are a shy one. All right, my good fellow. Let's see what else we have here. What is this? You want to know how I got this hook hand? Well, that is a very tragic story indeed. But it has quite a funny ending. Perhaps... I can show you some more of my wares. You must be eager to find a gift for who, uh, who was it now? Your mother? Your sweetheart? Ah, yes, your sister. What the, you truly want to know? Really? Do you really want to know how I got the hook? I must warn you, it is not a pleasant tale to tell. Well, if you insist me. Are you a religious fellow? I used to be, perhaps still. When I was a boy, I lived in the city of Ophora, Jim by the sea. My parents made the mistake of having too many children, and when my pappy injured his back, he was out of work, which meant we were short on the money, which meant some hungry mouths had to go. I was placed into the service of a local temple as an acolyte. This seemed not so bad, especially compared to my brother Palom, who became a servant boy to this belligerent cow named Lady Cleotilde. Anyhow, I worked away my days at the temple, scrubbing floors and halls, cleaning robes, preparing coals, washing the cups and the plates and the trays, sweeping the dusty the cobwebs, so on and so. There was a certain priest named Pancrasius, who took an interest in me, and soon he tasked me to clean and tidy the small apothecarium he kept below the mausoleum. He was a plump man, though a uh, diligent and a faithful sort. 
Pancrasius was a healer, and he dedicated himself to developing all manner of salves and powders and elixirs to cure every type of ailment. I shall never forget the day he instructed me to take down my tunic so that he could test a healing balm. He flogged my back. I was screamed in pain. Then he applied a stinging oily substance over the wound. I cannot say if it healed faster or no. I still have a scar on my back. That was only the beginning though. Pancrasius put me through one ordeal after another. He burned my arm with hot coals. He served me a poison wine. He broke my finger. He pulled one of my teeth. He ripped out a patch of hair. Ah, to the hell with that man! For months and months I was tortured, then soothed, then wounded, then cured. On it goes. I did begin to see, though, the progress in the effectiveness of his ointments and his potions. But I came to hate him. How could I not? Then came the day in which he took my hand. Yes, this hand, where you now see only Hook. His damned salve did not work that time. He tried and he tried, but he could not rejoin the severed member. Through the blinding pain, I can remember him ranting angrily over his scroll work. It should be working. Why isn't it working? Of course, he later corrected his formula. The next time he used the rejoining salve, it worked. Look, look here to my ankle. See this terrible scar wrapping it round. That's what losing a foot and having it reattached looks like. Oh, it worked. Lucky me. Why couldn't he try the foot first and the hand second? I rather hobble around on a wooden foot than wield a damned hook for a hand. Well, a few months later, he was raving about an elixir of everlasting life. I did not want to go through that experiment. Surely it would entail the most horrible of day. I not in the least would I want it. By this point, I was a bit older and more capable, and my rage for the deranged priest was boiling inside my heart. Then he brought me down to his apothecary chamber and bade me drink the immortality draft. I attack him. I grab the mace fastened at his belt. I beat him down. <laughs> Have that, you monster! <laughs> have that! Why do I laugh? Well, this story truly does have a most comical ending, as I said. I must show you. You must see! You must see! Oh, where did I put it? Ah, here we are. Here, here, here. This is the box. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Are you ready? Allow me to introduce you to Priest Pancrasius. <laughs> well, his head at least. It seems his elixir of life everlasting did work. <laughs> Pancrasius, don't be rude. Say hello. Hello and good day. I'm pleased to meet you. <laughs> I know I have to help him talk. It's uh, quite difficult to speak when you cannot draw breath. But look at those eyes. Those wild eyes of his. I wonder what he's thinking just now. Wait, wait, where are you going? No, 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 come back, come back, come back. You don't want to purchase a priest in a box. <laughs> you can have a bit of holiness with you wherever you go. Ah. 